how to view the history of items frequently bought together with any other Amazon product. Why is this important? How can it make you money? This is one of my favorite features of black box, right? Uh, do you guys, first of all, know what frequently bought together is? Uh, let me, let me go ahead and show you. All right. So on, if you're on any Amazon page, that has some sales history and you scroll down a little bit, you'll usually see this section that says frequently bought together. Like for example, here, I'm looking at my competitor coffin shelf listing and I can see that, Hey, this bat shaped shelf is something people buy together. And this spider web shaped shelf is something that people buy together. Now this is important because uh, for two reasons. Number one, you might want to do some kind of unique bundle later on. Like I want to put two products together and be unique. Well, instead of guessing what would somebody who buys my product also buy, use Amazon's data. This is literally what this means. Amazon is telling you that, hey, we show a history that people who buy this coffin shelf, they are buying this bat shelf and or this spider web shelf at the same time. So theoretically speaking, for those customers, at least, if there was a product that had the coffin shelf and the spider web shelf together, they probably would buy it just so they can have one product instead of having to buy, add two things to their shopping cart. So that's a way to add uh, potential product line extensions via bundling. Or it could be just a, a straight product line extension. Like, hey, I'm selling this spooky coffin shelf. What other products are people interested in my niche? Oh, hmm. There's a history of people who buy shelves shaped like bats who are the same uh, who are buying coffin shelves. So I might want to go ahead and add that as a, as a product. So a, another way that this is good is potential product targeting, sponsor display ads, ASIN targeting ads that you would do on Amazon. And, and here's the reason. If you were to look at products like coffin shelves or collagen peptides, and you look at what products are targeting them in sponsored ads, it's usually the same type of product, which is fine. You know, if, if I'm selling a coffin shelf, I should be targeting other coffin shelves. But here's the thing. Amazon is telling me that there's an interest in bat shelves, right? So why not be one of the few bat shelves? Or, or if, you're, if you have a coffin shelf, why not be one of the few, if only coffin shelves that is advertising on a bat shelf page, right? So this is another reason why I really like looking at this. Now, I could just go on Amazon every single day and refresh the page and start writing down the ASIN of what I see here. It actually changes sometimes throughout the day. Uh, every other day it might change that's a very tedious task. There's one way you can do it with helium 10. All right. So take the ASIN from your competitor or even from your product and then paste it into this tool, uh, black box product targeting. It's the very, uh, last tab that you see in black box. And all you have to do is paste it into the ASINs, press space bar, and then go ahead and press search. Let's take a look at what products are frequently bought together with this one. All right, 17 products. You see, Amazon is only showing me three, but here, if I filter this out uh, for frequently bought together, I see some stickers, some bat shaped stickers. I see that spider web shelf that I saw on the Amazon page. There's that bat shelf. What else do I see here? Another coffin shelf. Um, oh, wow, look at this. Here's a dream catcher that's shaped like a moon. Here's a coffin shaped mirror, another kind of bat shelf. So I can see the full history over the last month or two of products that are frequently bought together, 17 of them. Uh, another thing I could use this for is seeing what Amazon is suggesting that people advertise for. Amazon has their own algorithm and say, for any product, Amazon will, will give you suggestions on what it suggests you advertise for. So if I wanted to see that, I would just hit the Amazon suggested filter right here. And then if there's anything available in this database, uh, Helium 10 is going to show that that's actually coming from Amazon and shows this. So is this frequently bought together. So this is really, guys, a great method for finding bundling options, finding product line extension ideas, and most importantly, finding PPC product uh, targeting ASINs or sponsor display ASINs that you could uh, target that really could give you a, a leg up on the competition. <music>